Assalamu alaikum and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to the class. Today I will, in this video, we will discuss about the design of continuous two-way slab. Okay, I hope you can see my screen now. And before we start the exercise, let, let me uh, give you a simple briefing about the bending moment of the slab. Okay, I hope you still can remember that in order to get the obtain the bending moment for simply supported slab of a two-way slab, we have to multiply the okay the action and then the shortest length the shortest length the LX and then uh, to the to the coefficient AX, ASX and ASY for both uh, S and Y direction respectively. Okay, because this is the, 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 the bending moment, okay, to X direction, and this one is uh, bending moment to the, for the Y direction. Okay, so, if, but this is for the beam where the, all four sides is unrestrained. Unrestrained means that the slab is not attached to the beam uh, mono, monolithically. Okay, so let's say that this one, uh, they say that the simple, the simplest uh, example is the beam is rest on the steel beam. They say you have steel beam here. This is the okay I, I beam of steel section. Okay, and then this is another another I beam. And then you put the slab. Okay, the simply supported slab as this one. Okay, and the beam is the beam is uh, categorized as unrestrained. So as we did in last exercise, we refer to this table, okay, to determine the coefficient of bending moment, which is depend on the value of Ly over Lx. So we we select the coefficient for alpha Sx and alpha Sy. Okay, this is the condition for simply supported unrestrained two-way slab. Okay. However, for the continuous two-way slab, you have to consider. Okay, so sorry, yeah. For for simply supported, you only have to consider the moment at the mid span. Okay, moment at the mid span, because no moment at the top. So the 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 shape of bending moment is just like this one. Okay, bending moment. Okay because this is unrestrained. However, if for the continuous beam, okay, where the where the slab panel is continuously uh, concreted, okay, be between slab to slab, let's say this is for slab one and this is slab number two and this is slab number three, okay, divided by beams, this is beam, okay, two beams, okay, if you do, if you do the cross section, so we will have to consider the bending moment at both directions, both X and uh, Y directions at the bottom part. Okay, and also okay, this this one is for uh, for the for the bottom. Let's say, and also we have to consider the uh, bending moment at the top part. Uh, uh, for the for the support, this one. This is for the support. This is for the support. And this one is for the for the mid span, okay, which is at the bottom. Mid span, the reinforcement located at the bottom, and at near the support, the reinforcement will be placed at the at the top. Okay, like this one. This is the top, and this is also top. At the mid span, you place at the at the bottom. Okay. So, However, to determine the coefficient, okay, you also have the to determine the bending moment based on these uh, equations. Okay, the coefficient now, okay, this is just a similar equations, just uh, like the uh, simply supported case. Okay, but simply simply supported use the coefficient of alpha, either s x and alpha s y. But for the uh, continuous beam, the coefficient is change to beta here okay beta sx and beta sy okay beta sx and beta sy 
Okay. And you will have to refer to this table. Okay, let's say this is the condition. Okay, we, we, I will teach you later about how to choose. Okay, we have uh, a total of nine cases. Okay, nine cases. Okay, this one is uh, too simple. I will show you the real uh, situation. Okay, we have uh, nine cases. And we have, uh, okay, the coefficient for short span. Okay, short span coefficient of uh, beta SX and the coefficient of long span for beta SY. Okay, at the top is this is a uh, negative moment as continuous edge means this is a uh, moment at the support. And then this is positive moment at mid span and you use the this uh, equation. This one is for for mid span. Okay. I hope you know to about this one, but it's okay. We ju I just uh, give you a simple briefing. Okay, so this is the uh, let's say this is case number one, interior panel, case number one, case number two, this one, case number three, case number four. We will take the closer look later. Case number five, case number six, case number uh, seven, case number seven, sorry, case number seven. Case number eight and case number nine. Okay, we have a total of nine cases. Okay, you ha you have to refer to this table. Be careful. So let's take a look one by one. It's okay. I will sh uh, show you how to read this data letter in during our exercise. <coughs> okay, let me do like this one. Uh, okay, okay. Can you see the the panel of the slab here? I hope you can see. Okay, I draw this one by using STEAM software. I hope you can see also the 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 LY and the LX. Okay, always the L. Okay, and we are lucky because I set the LY to be like this one. So this is our always our LY. Okay, and here is our L LX. Okay, so we have a total of how many slab? Okay, and then we will uh, categorize uh, one by one. Okay. We, let's do it together. Okay, uh, the orange color. Let's use orange color. This is let's say this is slab number one, panel number one. This is slab number two. This is slab number three. Slab number four. Slab number five. Slab number six. Slab number seven. Slab number eight. Slab number nine. Slab number ten. Slab number eleven. Slab number twelve. Slab number thirteen. Okay, slab number 14, slab number 15, and then 16, 17, 18, and 19. We have a total of 19 slab panels here. Okay, you can see the purple color is the column, and then the yellow, uh, yellow, uh, quite, quite yellow, uh, yellow, yellow color, yellow to green is uh, the beam, and then the light blue is the slab. And then we have here, let's say, uh, just imagine that this is, uh, this part of the building is, this part of the building is isolated. Okay, isolated, no beams. But let's say, maybe this one is uh, connected later by, maybe by, by steel. Okay, maybe connected later by steel trusses or maybe, maybe steel bridge and so on. Okay, the concrete is only there. Okay, so connected by the, by the steel bridge. Okay. And then this is the void, okay, void here. This is the void, or maybe this void is for for staircase, okay. So this is void, okay. Means nothing, nothing. Uh, no slab panel here, okay. Okay, may I may I know? Okay, may I know? Uh, based on your your knowledge, okay. Slab. S1 is referred to which cases? Yeah, anybody can answer? Eight. Okay, number eight. Okay, good. Because, okay, three edges is discontinuous. Okay, it depends. Okay, the, the cases is depend on the continuity. Uh, okay, the edge depend on the 
edges continuity okay ah continuity ah yeah, continuity ah okay because this is a uh, continuous okay the edge here is uh, okay you, you better you better write down okay this one is this slab is discontinuous this edge also discontinuous this edge also discontinuous this is uh sorry i better use another color red color okay red color okay this is continu con con continuous this is discontinuous okay so you have uh, three edges discontinuous so this one okay three edges discontinuous but one short edge continuous so this one okay continuous the continuous edge is shorter edge so this one is case number case number eight okay thank you case number eight okay how about slide number two Case three. Case three, okay. One long edge discontinuous, good. Because this one is uh, discontinuous and this is continuous. This is also continuous. This is also continuous. So one, one long edge discontinuous. Okay, anybody who uh, did not uh, understand, please stop me, okay? So this is case number three. How about slide number three? During the final, the final exam, you will be given the the slab okay usually uh, if you can if you refer to the uh, past your question or during your working time later you will be given the the floor plan so you have to determine the the cases so why not okay uh, you use about a, a few seconds to determine the the continuity first so this one is uh, this continuous this is continuous this is continuous so the the case is case three two. Case three two. Okay, similar to the S two. Okay, and how about the slab number four? Slab number four. I think the case is also similar because we have uh, long edge. This one is discontinuous. So this one is also case number three. Okay, how about S number five? S number five. Okay, we have uh, discontinuous here, discontinuous here, continuous and continuous. Case three. Case three. One long edges discontinuous. Okay, any 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 other opinion? Six. Okay, six. Okay, I think six is better. So this one is six because this one, uh, you have a look here. Uh, two long edges discontinuous. Okay, this is long edges. This is discontinuous. And also this one is also discontinuous. Okay, because no slab uh, beside it. Okay, only 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 to at the top. No slab at the, uh, uh, this one, let's say part A and part B. Slab only attached from part A. No slab from part B. So this is discontinuous. Okay, be careful. Lah. This is uh, case number six, uh, where the two long edges discontinuous. Okay, and then uh, how about number six? Okay, during final exam, just use a few seconds to determine the continuity first. Okay, this one, this is this discontinuous, discontinuous, this is also discontinuous. Case four. Case number four. Can you uh, okay the number? Okay, number eight. Uh, this this one shall be similar to the to the slab number one. Okay, where this discontinuous. Okay, three edges discontinuous. Okay. Okay, this is one, one, two, and three. Okay. Three edges discontinuous, but okay. Three edges discontinuous, but one short edge continuous. Okay, be careful, class. So this one is case number eight. Okay, how about case number slide number thirteen? Slide number thirteen. Nine. 
Ya estamos en Nano, ¿qué? Discontinuous, 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 discontinuous. So, four edges discontinuous. Okay, okay, it's number nine, but this is, uh, okay, uh, refer to the, to the, uh, our last, our last exercise is, uh, unrestrained, okay, uh, uh, unrestrained means like this one, uh, unrestrained, okay, where, where the, uh, where the slab panel is, uh, put on the top of the, uh, steel beam, but however, if the case is restrained like this one, okay, and it will be concreted monolithically, okay, all the material is concrete, however, however it is uh, simply supported at all four edges, okay, it still, so you have to, okay, the bending moment is like this one, okay, this is the bending moment later, okay, you have moment at the top, you have the, yeah, you have bending moment here at the top and at the bottom, so you have to, you cannot refer to this, you cannot uh, refer to this table, but you refer to this table where you refer to case number nine. Okay, please be careful. And then how about slab number nine? Okay, this is uh, this continuous, continuous, continuous and continuous. Okay, which case? Case two. Case two, okay, because only one one short edge uh okay, one short edge discontinuous. Okay, this is the short edge so uh short uh, short edge of the slab. Okay, so it is uh, case number two. Okay, uh seven also case number two. How about uh slab number eight? Case one. Uh, case, case one. one. Okay. Case number case is case, case number one because this is interior panels. Interior panels mean you have all four edges continuous. Okay. Or attached for attached to other slabs. Okay. All four edges uh, surrounded by other slabs. Okay. Case number uh, slab number ten. Slab number ten is case number two. Okay, good. Case number two. This is case number two. How about case uh, slab number eleven? Case three. Case three, where okay, you have uh one long edges discontinuous. Here is discontinuous. Here is continuous, continuous, and continuous. This one, now uh, one long edges discontinuous. Please don't confuse about this one. Okay, because if you are wrongly uh, uh, wrongly determine the cases, the coefficient of bending moment is also wrong, and then you have to say goodbye for that question. I believe you have to to say goodbye. You only you only can get mark uh, about the checking of uh, d. Okay, the depth, the x and the y, and then the check uh, s minimum, s re s minimum and s uh, maximum. That's all. Okay, you can score. Okay, so be careful. This is very, very critical. Okay, because if the bending moment is wrong, okay, you 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 insert the wrong value for bending moment due to wrong coefficients and everything is go wrong. Okay, be careful. Okay, so this one is uh, case number three. Okay, S12 is also case number two. S16, S16, which case of S16? Okay, you have, this is continuous, this is continuous, this is discontinuous, and this is also discontinuous. Which case? Case number five. Uh, okay, good. Five. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Case number five because two should edges discontinuous. Okay, this one, this is discontinuous. This is also discontinuous, and the edges is short. Okay, it's case number five. Okay, case number slide number nineteen. How about case number nineteen? 
tambah 19, continuous, continuous, discontinuous, discontinuous. Okay, you will see in your project later. Okay, you do the slab. Maybe this one, okay, case number 3, case number 1, case number 2, maybe for, uh, familiar. Okay, which... Okay, I think case number 19 will be... Oh, not, sorry, it's not similar. Case 4? Case 4, yes, good. Because two edges, two adjacent edges discontinuous. This is, this is the discontinuous edge. Okay. Discontinuous and then discontinuous. Two adjacent edges discontinuous. Dua, dua sisi yang bersebelahan adalah discontinuous. So, case number 4. How about slab number 18? Same case four. Eh. Case four. Be careful <laughs> because we have void here. So be, be careful, glass. That's why you must be able. This is discontinuous, discontinuous, discontinuous. Only one, only one side continuous. Case eight. Case number eight. Okay, one short edge continuous. Short. This is a uh, sisi yang paling pendek. Okay, so case number eight. And then, how about slab number 15? Okay, you have... Uh, case continuous, four. continuous, okay. The case, case four. Same. Okay, good. Discontinuous, discontinuous. Case number? Continuous, continuous, discontinuous, discontinuous. Seven. Bukan-bukan itu S17. Okay, 15, 15. Which case? This is discontinuous, this is also discontinuous. Okay, case number? 4. Okay, good. Case number 4 because you have two edges, third edges discontinuous. Okay, case number 4. And then S14. How about S14? We have con continuous here. This is also continuous. This is discontinuous. This is also discontinuous. So this is also case number four. Okay, because you have okay, be, usually usually uh, at the corner. Okay, this this type of slab. And then how about slab number 17? Continuous. And then this is discontinuous. 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 Okay. What is this case? This is this is the continuous part. It occur at the long edges. One long edge. So this is case number seven. seven. Okay, case number seven. One long edge discontinuous. Uh, continuous. Okay. Any 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 question for this part, class? I hope you know how to how to do it. Okay, how to differentiate. Uh, every slab panels because I don't want you to get confused later. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for your uh, participation.